you can see the complex and the buildings on your right. That's a ministry's office, also the colonial building. Uh, our General Aung San, our national hero, the father of Lady Aung San Suu Kyi, was assassinated in this building while he was doing the meeting here. So, uh, since that time, uh, the, the English government used as the uh, secretariat. And after that, Myanmar government used this building for the uh, ministry's office. But uh, in 2005, the government moved all the office to the new capital. That's why now uh, that is the empty one. It's 80 kilometer far from Yangon. So uh, it takes about uh, two hours driving. So before we reach there, after Yangon, uh, we will visit to a uh, war cemetery. So there, uh, over 27,000 soldiers and captains were died in the uh, Second World War, but uh, only uh, over 6,800 um, tombs there. Just uh, the, the reds are recorded on the wall. Oh. Yeah, because uh, uh, it was um, maintained by the War Grave Commission, uh, Commonwealth War Grave Commission. So they got uh, some, uh, how to say, some evidence, uh, such as the bone or the shots or the heads like this. So they collected this evidence and they buried there. So the others, they, they didn't get the others' evidence, just they recorded the names of the soldiers and captains. So we, uh, we got this evidence uh, from the center of Myanmar and upper part of Myanmar and the uh, lower part of Myanmar. So most of them are uh, the, uh, the foreigners. Uh, uh, over uh, nearly 2,000 are the Indians. So, but uh, uh, a little, sorry, very few are Myanmar, Myanmar captains. And uh, there are some Australians, Tom's there. You can see the railroad and the railway station buildings. So that building was built in 19, uh, 1938. At first, uh, in the English colonial time, the, the English government started to build the railway station at the behind behind these buildings. So that that part was called Gonjangkong. At that time, the people they grow many betel nuts tree there. That's, that's why it's called Gunjangon Quarter. So the, the station building was very small. And then uh, at first, uh, the, the English government built the railroad from Yangon to Yi. Uh, the, the, the land is only over 200 kilometer. You can see the zoological garden. There is an advertisement at the gate, door gate. Uh, there is the, the the advertisement for the birthday of the elephant, oh. who has 61 years old. So the the zoo was also established in a 
1908 by the English government. At that time, uh, there were only uh, the tigers, the elephants, and the crocodiles, and some snakes. So during the Second World War, the Japanese entered to Myanmar for three years, 1942 to 45. So the Thailand soldiers uh, who are from the Allied Army, uh, they, the Thai, Thai soldiers, they kill some uh, animals from the zoo. That's why the, the government moved uh, the rhinos and the tigers and the elephants to uh, the, uh, the opposite bank of Yangon River. So after the war, they moved back again. But in 2005, the Myanmar government moved some uh, uh, animals to the new capital at the zoo. So the zoo from the capital is called Safari. <laughs> Us on the right, you can see the lake. That is uh, Kandoji Lake, the artificial lake. You can see many buildings. They all are the monasteries, and uh, they are surrounded by the Shri Dagon Pagoda. So behind this building, you can see the Shri Dagon Pagoda. Uh, the boats are advertised uh, for the classes because the monks uh, they open the classes to teach the language especially the English language and the computer to the young people free of charge. And this advertisement uh, for the examination of the Buddhism for the monks and nuns. At some monasteries, uh, they open the, the classes and the school for the Buddhism. So not only the monks and nuns, but also the uh, people, ordinary people, can attend the classes and take the examinations. There is a Shweta Gompagoda on the left. monastery compound is called Shui Jin. So for the monks, there are two uh, societies, uh, but the, the, the basic uh, regulations are the same. All the regulations are the same, but uh, they are Shui Jin and Du Dema. So the, Shui Jin, the monks from Shui Jin societies follows the and keep the regulations very exactly. But uh, for the Du Dema Association, uh, they are a little bit more free. So on the right, this is the hospital for the monks and nuns. This area, this quarter is called Shui Gong Dai. So the apartments and the, uh, the lands are very expensive in Yangon because most of the business people and the foreigners, uh, they live here and do the business here. So at least the, the apartment, to rent the apartment, the cost is at least between uh, 3000 to $10,000 a month, per month, yeah.
on the left, uh, that, that is the home for ages. So, which is uh, founded by uh, a rich women from Mandalay. So she, she founded this home for ages uh, in the English colonial time. Before uh, before Second World War, she was uh, she was single, and she 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 was never married, and then uh, she was a merchant of the the uh, how to say textile. The, she owned many uh, uh, weaving machines in Amarapura, and with the silk and cottons, and then she distributed to the whole country her textiles. So uh, she was a religious woman. That's why she uh, she likes to donate, offer uh, the things to the peoples. And then uh, she went around the whole Myanmar for her textile trading. So uh, uh, at that time, that was a cathedral in Yangon, which is called St. Mary uh, in downtown. So when uh, she arrived at Yangon, she visited the cathedral uh, to study the donations. At that time, one of the priests uh, founded a home for ages for the Christian people. That's why she envied the priest and she liked uh, to, to do like this. That's why when, then she went back to Mandalay and uh, she founded a building for the home for ages in Mingon. So uh, when we go to visit to Mingon village, opposite bank of Erawati River, we will see the buildings. So she founded there and in Yangon and also Bounte. So she founded three places. So last year and then the next last year. That's why uh, the, the the cost of the cars are also very cheap. So the uh, most family buy the car and uh, when they send their children to the school, they use the car. So a family uh, drive the car. That's why uh, from Monday to Friday, it's so traffic. So in front of the school, there are many car stops now. So this is India Lake. This is the uh, eastern bank of the lake. Yesterday we passed at, uh, from the western bank of the lake. So you look back uh, of the lake, you will see a house with a red roof over there. The white house with red roof, two-story buildings. That's the house of the lady. Yes, yes. That's why uh, oh, an, an American man swam in the water and uh, tried to get to her house. He got that view? Yes. <laughs> the right that's a project of the <coughs> so the lake is used for uh, relaxation and also the boat race so there is a boat club over there and help the boat raising. So 
that's a meditation center on the left. Uh, some uh, shopping, big shopping malls in Yangon, and also many markets. So Myanmar people, they prefer to buy the things at the markets and also at the small shops. Only the young people who are the modernized people and also the rich people and the uh, art, uh, uh, how to say, the uh, actors, actress, singers, uh, very modernized people like prefer to buy the things at the shopping mall. Because the cost is quite different. Pagoda Road, because uh, there is a pagoda which is called Gaba A here, this complex. So there is a, a pagoda in the complex uh, which is built in 1952 and finished in 1957. So the donor of the pagoda was the Prime Minister Unu. He was a religious man. So uh, after we got the independence, there were many uh, uh, own military of the ethnic groups. So they like uh, they like the federation. That's why uh, it, there was no peace in Myanmar. So the prime minister Unu tried to to be peace in the whole Myanmar. That's why he built this pagoda. So after that, he got the idea to do the synod for the Buddhism. Uh, that's why he built the cave, the artificial cave behind this uh, pagoda. So that. Uh, 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 he finished the cave in 1957-58, then he did the synod. So for the synod, there were six times uh, for the Buddhist synod. The first uh, uh, three times were held in India. So the Buddha uh, get to Nirvana uh, 2,600 years ago. So. After he uh, he get to Nirvana, uh, the monks uh, associations did the first synod in uh, India, but uh, just by verbal. Uh, they didn't have any records by writing. So after uh, next 200 years, they did the second synod in India again, uh, and after next 100 years, uh, they did the third synod there. The fourth synod were held in uh, Sri Lanka, and uh, in uh, uh, 17, uh, no, 17, uh, 18, 1857, yeah. 1857, the King Mendo, who was the founder of Mandalay City, did the fifth synod in Mandalay. And then, uh, 1958, the Prime Minister did the sixth synod here. So just at the fourth synod, the monk association from Sri Lanka uh, did the writing in the box. a cinema hall, which is called Nawa Day. Nawa Day was the name of Myanmar Minister of the Kings. Uh, he was famous for the, as a composer. He wrote many songs in the previous time. We, we can see such kind of car. Uh, uh, this is also like a bus. But uh, this kind of car and here also go to the place which is so far from the downtown area, like uh, out of area they go. from the downtown for eight miles. 
So we start to uh, say from the airport, airport to the downtown. It finished to 10 miles. So the airport area is called 10 miles. That is the monastery complex, but uh, they, they are the Shan, Shan ethnic monasteries. So we call it Shanji. So I'm also the Shan ethnic. So we, uh, we are the same with Myanmar. We are the same Buddhist, but uh, we, uh, we keep the uh, regulations and the disciplines uh, uh, very well, more than the ordinary Buddhist people. Uh, especially the, the Shan monks and novices. Because for the monks and novices, they have 227 disciplines to follow. So uh, the, the Shan monks and novices keep all these regulations very strictly. That's why it's a little bit different with the other monks. Yesterday, Judy asked me about the dragon and the pagodas. So in the Buddhist cosmology, uh, the Buddha attained the enlightenment under the ficus tree. So as soon as he attained the enlightenment, he didn't go anywhere. Just he keep sitting under the ficus tree for seven days and took the meditations. So after a week, he moved to another places, another place, uh, another under another trees for another week and continue to take the meditations. Like this, he moved uh, seven places for seven weeks. So the last place uh, was the lake. So we call it Monsalenda in India. So. Uh, in the lake, uh, he he sat he sat and took the meditation. So he he decided not to go anywhere before he finished taking meditation. So within uh, that week, uh, he sat in the lake. So at the time it was a heavy rain, but he didn't get up. So uh, one of the dragon from the lake appear and uh, he quell his body and make a, like a, a blend for the Buddha. So he let the Buddha uh, to sit on his body and also he cover his head like an umbrella for the Buddha. So he covered the rain and wind. So uh, that's why the Myanmar people make the dragon's, uh, uh, dragon's statues and the pagodas uh, with the Buddha statues together. As a guardian about the planet, the corner at the pagoda. So uh, it has the thumbs and also it has the symbol, animal symbols. So for the Sunday, the symbol of animal is uh, Garuda, the mythical bird. And for the Monday, uh, the symbol is tiger. Tuesday is the lion. And the Wednesday morning is the elephant with, uh, with the tux. And uh, for the Wednesday evening, the elephant without tux. And uh, Thursday is the red. And the Friday is the mole. And the Saturday is the dragon dragon or snake into the military area. So I said in 1757-55, uh, the King Alam Yangon 
And then he started to set up the military in this area. So during the Second World War, the English government, they set up the military at the western part of Sri Lanka. So after the war, uh, the Myanmar people request to English government to move the military out of the town. That's why they move also in this area. Till now, the government used this area. Now, the area is very wide, very big. This area is called wireless. Wireless. <laughs> because of the the military areas. So that's a market, the market for the militaries. So they have, um, they, uh, it is complete for the militaries. They have a, a primary school, middle school, high school, and the hospitals, and the medicine university, the church, monasteries, the Hindu temples, everything is complete here. So motorbike here. So the young boys, they don't work at the offices and the companies. So they, they use a motorbike and uh, do the business as a taxi. Because the quarters and villages are so far from the main road.